I've had some fun questions come my way. Where is the iceberg that sank the Titanic, for instance? Uh, I've, had, I've had this asked. I've had people ask me, why do icebergs not melt in salt water? And uh, these are questions, of course, that don't have an answer. Hi, I am Stephen Bruno. I'm a professor at Memorial University of Newfoundland. I'm here to talk about icebergs. If we were to look offshore and see um, one of these icebergs, it's been afloat for for two years from uh, probably uh, Ilulissat uh, Ice Fjord, which is the most productive glacier in, in Greenland, where more than 30 cubic kilometers of ice calve off every year. And uh, a cubic kilometer is, uh, is a lot. If you look at an iceberg, if, if that iceberg has, has not moved for a while, it's probably grounded, and it's probably grounded in water that is about the same depth as that berg is wide. So the depth of the iceberg is about the width of the iceberg. Now some would think this is not quite right because we know that about 90% of the ice is below. But that's 90% of the volume of the ice. It doesn't mean that it's nine times bigger below in terms of width and depth and everything. That would make the percentage very different. What we have is an iceberg with a waterline length of so much and its depth is probably about the same. If you think about that and you look at the icebergs that are offshore, you can then sort of get a sense of, of how deep the ocean is at that point and perhaps peel away the water's layer and see this prodigiously huge chunk of ice.